Hey tribe, welcome to the tutorials for the iconic granny square bag pattern. Now these tutorials have been recorded in four separate parts so that you can quickly find out what you need to know and get back to your making. Each tutorial is designed to be a companion to the pattern, it's not intended to be a complete tutorial and so you will need to get a copy of the pattern for yourself. You can do that by clicking the link in the description box below. And I've also linked everything down below from the yarn and the hardware that I have used. Here I'm going to show you how we make the panels so that they are reinforced so that we can then create the granny square bag. Now what this is is the granny square panel which looks like this and then we then stitch the panel onto this reinforcement that we've created. The reinforcement is made of two pieces of material and a plastic mesh and the plastic mesh goes in the middle so in effect we're creating a sandwich with one piece of material, the mesh and another piece of material and then we add the granny squares to the panel which makes it super rigid like this so that the bag can stand up by itself. So what you need to do is turn the material right sides facing. And then once you've got them right side facing, we are going to stitch starting at this end here, coming all the way along, along the short end and back, leaving this one end open. So if we stitch along there and then meet me back here, I have now sewn the way across three of the edges, leaving this end unsewn. You now need to turn it inside out. And then once you've turned it inside out, you need to take a crochet hook or whatever else you've got handy, a pen, and then you just need to poke out the corners so that they are as close to being a square as possible. So if you do that on both the corners, like so, you then need to put the canvas mesh into the case that you have created. And then having put it in there, you then need to fold down this end and fold in this end as well. Fold the whole way along, pin if you need to, and then you want to stitch down there to then close the case that you've created. So I'm now going to fold and pin this and then I'm going to sew it. Okay, so I've added the border as you can see and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bulldog clips to attach this granny square panel to the reinforced panel. Okay, so I have my bulldog clips and I am just going to use them to secure this down. Okay, so I have now used bulldog clips to secure the granny panel to the reinforcement panel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a needle and thread and then we are going to use a stitch called whip stitch so that we can then secure this panel to this one. 
Now, when it comes to sewing, I find it easier to turn the panel this way so that the satin lining is under my thumb. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into every chain space. I'm going to insert my needle through the lining and then through the back loop only of the chain. Like so. I'm going to start over here in the very corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the layers of the lining. I'm going to leave part of my thread hanging. And then what I'm going to do is go through the very first back chain that is here and then pull the thread through. Now I haven't weaved my ends in so I'm making it a little bit harder for myself. Now I'm pulling that quite tight and I'm just going to do another one in the exact same place. So I've gone through both bits of the lining. I just disentangle this and then I'm going to pull it And I'm going to continue my way along going through both pieces of the lining. I'm not going through the plastic mesh below. And then I'm going through the back loop of the V. And I know because I'm using black it isn't as easy to see. But you can see the, dub, the chain that's running along. This. I'm just going through the back. I'm going to work my way along. I find it easier to hold my finger like so, so that then I can go through both layers of the lining, through the back loop and continue. I go through every back chain twice because I want it to be really firmly attached. So I'm just going to show you as I work my way over. 